Scarlett says, how to best introduce a higher priced four month package? My rough outline is close the deal package, very cute, one hour per month via Zoom to review outfits and give tips on accessories, makeup tips. Zoom tips, including getting you the right background. Each call will get you set with outfits for the month. I'll review your clothes on your own personal styling page. Uh, create outfits on your own page, make suggestions on what to buy to create even more outfits using what you already own. Four months, $200 a month, intro offer. Uh, do I offer a lower intro price and then go up in a few months, 150 per month? Um, okay, first of all, uh, I think it's, uh, what I would do is I would, a couple of things, you could keep it at, $200 a month at four months, but sweeten the deal by saying, if you, if you pay all up front, that give them a discount, right? Like sign up now because that just makes your life so much easier. Um, I also think while subscriptions are nice, I know um, I'm getting ready to sign up for a fitness type program and it's going to be $79 a month. And I really wish they would just give me an annual price. They're not going to give me any, but it just, I want to just pay once and like not have to worry about it. I know a lot of people have that mentality as well because then I don't have to question it every month. You know what I mean? So as I tell my monthly subscribers who are watching me right now, <laughs> but I do have an annual option. Um, okay. So I think that, uh, so you could do that. I also think that I wouldn't start at 150 a month. What I would do is say, um, personally, I would say this is, cause I think that's, that sounds like just right to me for all that you're offering them. But I think you would say the early bird is $200 a month and it's going to be, but then it's going up to $250 a month. But if you don't want to do that, you could start and say, we're, you know, it's $150 a month for the next four days. And after that, it's going to be 200 a month, just something to give some urgency. Yeah. And, and I, can I talk? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. So I actually I, I am going to start it at 175 because 150, I like, no. Um, and, and I'm also including um, uh, uh, my, um, my course, Stop Stressing About Dressing, which is uh, 297. So I'm, I'm going to be putting that in there too, to sweeten the deal. Well, make sure your sales page, you know, very importantly, like you've got the stack and list everything out with the value beside it and then do the summary and just say, you know, this is a total value of, you know, whatever it adds up to, but I'm giving you this ridiculously like no brainer offer right now. And by the way, it's going to be disappearing in six days or something like that. So I, 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 um, I was going to rewrite my campaign last week because it was just too, um, it, it wasn't like, you know, I don't know, aggressive enough uh, for lack of the right word of my, my, uh, my course, the Stop Stressing My Dressing course, which sells for 200 or 300 if you have an hour with me. Should I like just not promote that now and just focus on close the deal? Like, is it too much that I'm have different? What thoughts? is that? Um, is that evergreen? Stop stressing yeah. about dressing. And how it, much is that? Video, of course, evergreen. Yeah. How much is that? 197 without me, 297 to have um, be on Zoom with me after they've watched the videos. I mean, I'm a big fan of doing one thing at a time, um, but you can upsell, downsell at the checkout um, or after the fact. When they don't buy, then you say, hey, you know, I see you didn't do that, but I've got this, you know, so you promote this and then sell and then sell that. Okay. 